Firstly, I want to say thank you for your time and giving me the opportunity to do this motivational video. And I wish whoever watching this is safe and healthy and please stay in healthy as long as we unite together. We can beat this viral. There is a few reasons that I applied to the Master of Management program at the University of Sydney. One of them is that people on Earth are now facing a big task. The COVID-19 pandemic caused tens of thousands of people's deaths and totally changed people's life pattern. This pandemic brings chaos to families, companies, societies, and even governments, and which raised a pivotal question for me. Is the old way of management still efficient enough to apply to the world we live in right now? Should we come up with a new type of management framework? In my perspective, management is both an art and science, and how to find the most suitable path to manage a group or a company, for instance, is an exciting topic. Besides, I think what behind management is to find the order of people and their thoughts and their standpoints, and I love to study people. Therefore, I choose to apply this program and study with the top school in the world, which is the University of Sydney. On the positive side, I see myself a co-founder of an investment fund in five years, and this fund can be either focused on security market or early stage venture capital. As the economy in China is booming, the Chinese government becomes more and more open, and the newly published policy encourages people to create, to share, to achieve value. Under this background, I believe there are opportunities for investing, and I'm going to make a good use of my connection between Australia and China to do something that can really bring value to our society. I grew up in China. My parents are doing business in China. And I had two years of working experience so far in China. My cultural background gives me the privilege to share my understanding of China to my classmates, including its business world, its culture, and its government. I believe I can help my classmates and even my professors to know more about China through my point of view. In the last month, I have closed a 300 million RMB deal, and I participated in this deal from the very beginning. The primary business of this company is to manufacture and to sell sweeteners to uh, food and beverage companies. What I learned from this experience is to think in your counterparty's shoes, and which can help me to find their genuine requirement, concerns, and values. To think in their shoes, I must to swap rules and put myself in their positions, study the content of their talks, pay attention to what they avoid talking, which is also helpful for negotiation on the later stage. There is too much information while we're making a deal, and which mostly annoys us, where it can easily make us disoriented. So we need to keep a clear mind and cast the anchor to what is real, really important. This was a hurtful experience and also a big lesson for my investment career. This year on May, I started buying Chinese K-12 educational institution shares, such as GoTo and TAL, influenced by market expectation on new coming up policies. The stock price in May was relatively low. At that time, there are only rumors about the Chinese government is going to shut down all commercial educational companies and online tutoring service companies and with all other negative regulations, but no material evidence released yet. Take GoTo for, it, for example. The highest price in 52 weeks is $149 per share, and it falls to $18 per share on May. The company's value nearly shrank to tens. After a comprehensive analyzing, I believed the company is undervalued and the policy would not 
be as harsh as the rumor said, because it would bring so many collateral damages to the whole industry. So I started to purchase. As the price falls, and I buy in more shares. Two months later, the official policy came out, which was the most draconian regulation for one industry ever happened in China. The stock price dropped 70% in one day and kept dropping in next a few trading days. I experienced more than 80% losses on those two stocks, and all profit in my portfolio has been wiped out and showed loss. What I learned from this experience is when you detected dangerous signals, be cautious and also be patient. Especially doing investment in China, the policy can be the biggest risk factor. From this, I started to spend more time on studying Chinese history and watching news and try to put myself in government position and thinking in their shoes. I am a self-driven man, and I am always thirsty for knowledge. I have good learning abilities and never get enough for new knowledge and information. Knowledge for me is more valuable than gold. So I will devote myself to this program and try my best to study and to contribute.